Hi everybody, welcome back. Again, me, Eugene from CBS, Canadian Business and Enterprise Services. Um, and another topic which is very closely related to one of the previous videos that we just published, and that's um, being a minority shareholder in a corporation in Canada. What does it mean? Um, whether it is uh, suggested, advised, how to deal with it, um, what to do if you really want. Um, so, at the initial stage, what I always say to my clients, in the privately owned corporation where you're not able to sell your shares over a stock exchange, uh, being a minority of a, uh, shareholders is uh, pretty much of a being a hostage of other shareholders. Especially if there's one uh, shareholder having the majority, 50 plus percent of the shares, and you are in the minority, you are 100% hostage and you are at the will and at the power of the majority corporation. That is the law. That's how the uh, Business Corporations Act in Ontario and in Canada are structured. And there are no effective solutions except for certain exceptions uh, to the situation of being the minority. And many uh, people with experience, so many lawyers, will tell you, no, there, there's such solution as oppression of minority. Well, that's right, I'll talk about it shortly, but you have to remember, oppression of minority means you will have to run to the court every single time something happens, and you will have to prove uh, that what the majority did uh, complies with the definitions, with the tests of uh, oppression, and that is not always possible. There are many things that the majority can do which are not uh, considered an oppression, but which will leave you with nothing to deal with. So before you become a, a minority shareholder in a corporation, especially if that minority shareholdings require certain investment from you, you have to think twice. You have definitely to come and consult someone who understands what are the consequences. So lawyers, uh, come to us, we can help you as well. And uh, today I'll just will talk about the issues that you will have to deal and certain solutions that you might have um, at the beginning, definitely before you start investing uh, into that corporation, uh, to make sure that your interests at least partially are protected. So, um, the problem with working with the majority is that by uh, the standard approach of the Canadian and Ontario laws uh, relating to the corporations, majority can decide anything. They can change almost every single aspect of a corporation without the consent of the minority. That's the whole idea of being a majority shareholder. And the point is they can appoint any officer, they can elect directors, they can prevent you from doing almost anything as a minority shareholder uh, through their power, voting power at the meeting of the shareholders and through that appointing directors, so the board of directors. Um, unless there's a special provision of how the directors have been elected, the vote is done for each director separately. So um, there could be 50 directors or five directors in the corporation. Each of them will be voted by all the shareholders together. So if I have the majority, I will vote only for those who I want and I will vote against those who I don't want. So only those who I really want to be on the board of directors will be elected. You won't be able to push through one out of five or out of ten or whatever else is your uh, proportion in the shareholdings. So through appointment of officers and directors, control of the corporation, I can make sure that there is no money left in the company to distribute among shareholders. I can make sure that even if there's anything left, the directors will make a decision not to distribute the dividends but keep them in the corporation. And again, as a minority shareholder, your um, opportunities, your tools are very limited um, and now that we understand the situation, what are the solutions? And solutions are very simple. Usually you will be offered to become a minority shareholding in a corporation because the majority needs something from you. So before you provide that investment, whether financial, professional, resources, whatever, you have to set the 
expectations and to make them defined in a written shareholders agreement to make sure that you are protected from the powers of majority shareholders that I just described. Um, how is it done? It's done by uh, defining certain areas of uh, decisions, of controlling mechanisms in the corporation where you will have either a voting power or a veto power. So it means that certain decisions could not be made without you voting in favor of those decisions. And that is very important. So such things as issuance of new shares, which will bring to dilution of your proportion in the corporation. Um, decisions that will affect your financial portion in the corporation, such as uh, lending or borrowing by a corporation. Uh, appointment of a highly paid officers of a corporation. These and many other s subjects could be uh, defined in the proper shareholders agreement as requiring your consent. So your active consent will be a condition for the corporation to make those decisions, technically giving you uh, the power to veto those decisions, but also a certain control. Of course, majority will not agree to most of what you will request, but if they really need you as an as a, uh, investor or partner, uh, they will have to find a some, somewhere in between to what to agree, what not to agree, they will give up uh, certain powers to get your investment. And that's why it's important to, to do before you become the minority shareholder. Um, another important tool is um, to make sure that there are proper provision inside the, the shareholders agreement of how you can sell your shares. You have to remember that in a privately owned corporation, the market for sale of the shares is non-existent. You cannot find almost anyone who will be willing to buy the shares. Uh, so make sure that there is certain force for you to, um, to force the corporation to buy uh, you out or to force the majority shareholder to buy you out in certain situations under certain conditions. Make sure that they buy you at a reasonable value of shares so there is some uh, mechanisms of uh, appraisal and defining the value of your shares. Um, make sure that there is a uh, buy-sell or shotgun provision in the agreement uh, that will give you an option to force shareholder, uh, majority one, to, to buy you out. Or maybe it will give you an opportunity to buy the majority shareholder out if your financial power is so strong. Um, Make sure that you get the information of the corporation. In order to follow the uh, oppression tool of minority shareholders, you need uh, to, to have an access to, to the information. And under the Canadian laws, Canadian and Ontario corporations are required to provide you with certain information, not all that you will require. And mostly financial statements, you want more you want an access to that information, have it defined in the shareholders agreement. So these are very basics. Again, situations and the relations between people are almost unlimited and all bring their own nuances, their own distribution of powers. But uh, in this particular situation, what is uh, specifically important is for you to make all those determinations of your rights, responsibilities, expectations and liabilities before you make the investment, before you become the minority shareholders, because thereafter um, most of the opportunities would be lost and you would be um, there just waiting for the goodwill and the truthfulness and, and the due diligence of the majority, which happens in most of the cases, but unfortunately not in all of them. So um, if you have more questions, send us an email through the contact us page at www.cbes.ca. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And if you have any suggestions, uh, let us know. We, as usual, will adjust uh, the presentations, the topics that we discuss, uh, where we can share our knowledge with you to what you think is important and I'm looking forward to see you soon. Thank you for being with us, CBS, Canadian Business and Enterprise Services and me, Eugene. Uh, see you very shortly. Bye-bye.